You know you can't do this forever. Oh, I can barely do it now. This is the job. You don't just save people. You make them see their better selves. Hey, everybody. If you're expecting to come see this movie and not see a big vortex at the end, like we see in most superhero movies, you might as well stay home. You want to see a little bit of action, you might get it here. We discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly with this movie. And if you're finding my channel for the first time, please go ahead, click subscribe, and let's go ahead and discuss Justice League. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sex is hell host of the Life Gains channel. Bringing you guys a life gain in the Justice League movie review. Streaming or beam it. Should you go see it in a movie theater? Or should you wait and stream this shit when it comes out? We've been waiting for a long time to see this group of superheroes on the movie. And... I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna hit you guys with that thespian talk of plot dialogue and coordination. And Superman didn't have his mustache; it was CGI'd off. Because in all honesty, you would have never probably known about that unless critics told you about it. I'm just gonna weigh this movie on good versus bad, and which one weighs the most. In all honesty, this movie was not that great. It had more bad than it had good. Let's talk about the good. The good was simply that they brought the heroes together. After you sit through the movie about 45 minutes and the heroes are actually together, the chemistry between the heroes is good. Um, the one thing I didn't like about it, y'all know if you're a Batman follower, that Batman is normally a dark character. He's basically an asshole. Well, in this movie, they watered down Batman and turned Aquaman into the butthole. They did give Aquaman a couple of lines that was funny here and there, <laughs> but I mean, he was almost forgettable in this movie. Now we're gonna go to the bad. I'm gonna just stick to the bad. First of all, it seemed very rushed. If you're not familiar with the comic books or you've watched the comic book cartoons in the past, you would have not known their backstories. And they tried to squeeze some of the backstory into this thing, but it was very rushed. Warner Brothers had an embargo where the movie had to be under two hours or at two hours. That was not good because it seemed like they glossed over some of the backstories. That was bad. But to me and to the overwhelming majority, the biggest bad thing was the damn bad guy. In all honesty, he was just a big, strong guy with an ax. That's it. And in all honesty, all the members of the Justice League couldn't beat him until they resurrected Superman. And I kind of feel like they either overpowered Superman or they underpowered the other leaguers because Superman could beat this guy in one whiff. Whereas the other Justice Leaguers took forever. He, they was climbing all over this guy and they couldn't beat him. And so it just makes you wonder what's going to happen next. And they didn't do anything to lead you to believe they're going to see Darkseid anytime soon. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you stay for both of the post-movie credits. The plot of the movie wasn't that great. The bad guy didn't have a rich story. They didn't get into his background. It was Steppenwolf, and a lot of us wanted to know why was they fighting him in the first place. And it was just rushed. Um, Ezra Miller, the guy that played Flash, he did an outstanding job. He did an excellent job. Sideboard was okay. Aquaman was kind of forgettable. He had one or two one-liners. Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne was good, not so much as Batman, and Wonder Woman did her damn thing. She was good again, but Flash stole the show. And so I want you guys to let me know in the comments below, if you've already seen it, what did you think? Now, I did have some good action. The action was okay. A lot of us thespian types are complaining that it was just too much CGI. And if you're an average moviegoer, that's probably not going to bother you. And other than that, that is it in a nutshell. Um, entertainment value, you will be thoroughly entertained. They've got one or two spots in there where you could possibly fall asleep if you're a busy working adult and you go to bed around 7 o'clock at night because you work so damn hard. But other than that, 
I'm just going to honestly be honest about this thing. Stream this shit when it comes out on a clear copy. Don't waste your money to go and see it. Especially if you done seen Thor. Now for my comic book heads, I know y'all going to go see it because you're curious. And you might like it a little more than the average moviegoer. But then on the other hand, I've got some average moviegoers who don't care about the backstory, who are just going because they just want to see an action movie. And if that's what you're going for, this should, this should be fine for you. If you want to blow that money, you can go do that. But if you're someone who likes action, you like a good story plot, you like a menacing bad guy who has a twisted backstory, he's become evil because of something bad or whatever like that, and you like the whole circle, stay home. Don't even worry about it. Wait for them to make Justice League 2, which is not going to be about Dark Side. I'm not going to spoil that for you. Make sure you stay for those post-scene credits. There's two of them. And that'll kind of let you know where the future of the DCEU is going. And let's just hope that this doesn't make them so mad that they don't make another one. Because this thing only made $91 million. They was expecting it to make 130. And if I had to rank these movies, I don't know if the Dark, the dark Knight wouldn't be considered in the DCEU. So I can't put that one in there. But I would say Wonder Woman was number one. Batman versus Superman was my number two. I would put this one probably number three. And then the rest of them, you line them up how you want. So that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Let me know if you're going to see it in the theater or if you're going to stay home and stream it. And if you've already seen it, let me know how you feel about it. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you. Enjoy the content on my channel. Please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Games.